I'm Arthel Neville. Time now for Sunday House Call. And I'm Eric Sean. Welcome as always. Joining us, Dr. Mark Siegel, professor of medicine at NYU's Langone Medical Center and the author of The Inner Pulse, Unlocking the Secret Code of Sickness and Health. Also, Dr. David Samadhi, Chairman and Professor of Urology at Lenox Hill Hospital and Chief of Robotic Surgery. Good to see you both. Great to see you. Great to see you every Sunday here on the Fox News Channel. Today, with the holidays are here, well, many people may be celebrating with a few drinks. But our researchers are warning not to get too carried away because a new study finds that binge drinking may have a real harmful effect, much more than previously thought. Dr. Siegel, I mean, it's become like an epidemic of binge drinking has. Actually, Eric, the Center for Disease Control says it's the number one drinking problem of all, binge wow. drinking. And they, they have studied it and say one out of six Americans binge drink. Now, what do they mean by binge drinking? Five drinks for men, four drinks for women, four times a month. That's binge drinking. Why less for women? Wait, can you say, wait, that, say again? that again? Is that not, not at once? That, that's a month? A month. It, well, if Within four times during the month, okay. if four times during the month, yeah. You or I have, or David has five drinks, or Arthel has four drinks. Oh, in one in uh, one sitting. Uh, I see. And and women need less within because because women, within two hours exactly over two hours women need less because their metabolism is different, and the problem is again four times a month over two hours if you drink five drinks if you're a man or four drinks if you're a woman that's called binge drinking. The problem is that people do it on top of the drinking they already do, and most binge drinkers are older. So. Over the years, you may have damaged your liver by all of this alcohol you're putting on it. Then you binge drink on top of it. And the study out of Missouri we're talking about today found that mice were 13 times more likely to have fatty deposits on their liver. I completely believe that. I think when people come to see me in my office and they say, oh, I have 15 drinks a week if they're a man, more than 10 drinks a week if they're a woman. I say you may have a drinking problem, but by the way, how often do you binge drink, Eric? How often do you binge drink? And if they're binge drinking on top of it, that means, because alcohol becomes poison in the body. Alcohol is converted to something called acetaldehyde, which is poison, and the body has to get rid of it. And if your liver is diminished, it's not going to get rid of it as well. So you put a bunch of drinks on top of what you already have, you have a problem. How can you tell if you have fatty liver and if you have that type of problem? Well, you can get tested, and you can certainly get your liver function tests. You can get CAT scans, and we will be able to see it. But the truth is, this is the time of the year, Christmas, holidays, and everybody is out there, and they're drinking. And alcohol is a great, great social lubricant. That's how we socialize with everybody. That's how it takes your fear of approaching somebody. So when you get to the bar, and you start having some shots, and then you have the wine, and you start mixing things up, it's five drinks within two hours. That's called a binge drinking for men. Now, what happens when you start drinking? Alcohol goes into your stomach, gets absorbed into your blood, goes to the liver. Liver is the best filter we have, right? So the liver is back, starts metabolizing the alcohol. If you give it enough time, it will be able to take care of it. But if you keep pounding it with more and more alcohol, that's when you start getting toxicity. When it gets to the level of 0.08%, that's the blood alcohol concentration, you're officially drunk. Congratulations. And that's when we will start having a lot of problems. Once in a while, again, you will recover. But if you keep doing it weeks after weeks, then you start getting fatty liver. So what's wrong with fatty liver? It becomes fibrous. It becomes cirrhosis. And that's when you get into a lot of trouble. Your pancreas, which is a great place where insulin is becoming the major factor, produces insulin. You get the inflammation of, you've heard of pancreatitis. Yes. Over time, you can get esophageal cancer, you can get memory loss. So please, if you have to do it once in a while, it's okay. But do it large amount, long period, that's not good for you. A couple things. So, Dr. Siegel, you said that the binge drinkers tend to be older. Address that for us. And then also, um, I think Dr. Siegel, I mean, Dr. Samadhi just said, and maybe you have the answer, that you can sort of give your liver a break by stop drinking for a moment and drinking lots of water to flush it. Talk about both of those for us. Well, let's start with the second one first. That's absolutely a brilliant point. I call it two-fisted drinking, alcohol in one hand, water in the other, because you get dehydrated from alcohol, and that makes the effects on the liver worse. It magnifies the problem. The second question you asked, or the first question, is about older. You know, I'm really worried about that, because older people already have a diminished 
liver function. And so if on top of that, especially during the holiday season, they say, ah, I'm out at a, bin a bender tonight. I'm going to have four or five drinks. What, then what? Get in a car? I mean, this is why we're seeing all these accidents over the holiday season. People don't know they have a diminished liver function, and they say, I'm just going to party tonight. That's what, by the way, so why I was so happy there was tea served at your daughter's bat mitzvah <laughs> last week. <laughs> that well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Well, does, so, does it also matter? I'm sorry. Does it matter what you drink? Because you know, let's say you have like a Chardonnay. You think it's light and it's okay versus it's 12 ounces of beer. It's 12 ounces of beer, five ounces of wine, and one and a half ounce of hard liquor. That's that's what the drink is. That's what we call the drink. And the other thing is, you know, the, your body weight has a lot to do with how fast you will get right. the alcohol. And the enzyme that Dr. Siegel was talking about, the, uh, this alcohol dehydrogenase, is not found in women. And that's why women could get drunk in a very short period with a fewer amount of alcohol. So you want to be careful. So make sure you eat before you start drinking because that lines up your stomach it reduces the absorption having water in your system and making sure that you're hydrated that's another way but in general if you start taking a lot of shots there are teenagers college students that are dying from this wow. yeah. Yeah. so please parents make sure you look be look out for this and stop and them you know to have that conversation with your with your teen absolutely that if the kid is passed out at a party don't have everyone run and don't say anything to the parents you know, call 911. It's Bravo. much better. No one's get, you may not get in trouble. trouble. Exactly. You gotta take Save care of life. someone who's passed out. It's not gonna pass. Sometimes we will say, let's leave them alone and yeah. he's gonna sleep, sleep out. Yeah. It's not. And the sooner you get them to the emergency room because they can aspirate, you get the control of respiratory, you can save someone's life. That's a very, very important point. The kids should know that. Parents, parents, I think that's what we did. So. By the way, one, one t final thing. Yeah. Water is also your best treatment for a hangover because that dehydration we were talking about, when you're, when you're hungover, you drink water and you try to stay away from Tylenol because it can affect the liver. I was going to do that raw egg and uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> quickly, quickly, we're going into the New Year weekend. What's a good amount of drinks to have? Just you know, average. Well, if you quickly. stay under two. I mean, if you just can try to stay under two drinks, if you're a man, well, two drinks for is a good what? number. Well, over the course of an evening, okay, you, know, you get up to three drinks, you're having a problem already. Well, I think once in a while, socially, it's fine. This is one of the things it's that I would say. This week, it's going to be so Yeah, good. that's it. So once in a while, it's fine. A couple okay. of red wine, glass of red wine. Good red wine, please. Oh, yeah, of course.